What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chakshi. So for those of you guys who don't know, The Gilded Wolves is kind of a heist story. It takes place in the 1880s in Paris and it's kind of set in this very magical world where some people can do something called forging. What this means is that somebody can control or manipulate matter, water, gases, mines, and turn them into something else. And what I really liked about this is that the magic system is very interesting. It's not just that, oh, I can forge this one thing and now it's forged and now it's great. No, you have to really know like what this object is. What's the chemical composition? How is it made? People go away and study to become better forgers. So it was very scientific and very nerdy and our main characters are all also very nerdy and they're very passionate about what they have chosen to study. Like we have a baker, a historian, a natural naturalist, an engineer. I just loved how like unashamed they were about how nerdy it was and it just felt really exciting. It kind of reminded me of reading anything by Rick Riordan and I really, really loved the beginning of this book. However, I kind of walked away from The Gilded Wolves feeling very meh and kind of having some mixed feelings on it because I felt like there's a lot going on. <laughs> like we have five main characters and this is told from four different points of view. All of our characters are already together when this book starts. They already have a lot of history together and I did really enjoy that. There's a lot of angst and there's a lot of like interesting plot details that kind of come out of that and all of our characters have their own motives for doing what they do which is tracking down magical forged items, kind of pulling off some interesting schemes and shenanigans in order to get them and all of that kind of stuff. But none of that necessarily has to do with the main plot of the story where we learn that there are four houses within the society, two are still standing, one is forgotten, one has fallen, our characters kind of stumble upon this thing called Horus Eyes which lead them to the fallen house and they find out that they were trying to become immortal and all this craziness happens and then all of a sudden the climax happens really early and I was just very confused. All of a sudden things just start happening very, very quickly and it just didn't feel very cohesive to me. It didn't really feel like it fit together that much. And with where this book leaves off, I see where we're kind of going in the next book, but not really. It felt like it left on a lot of like shock value to get you to read the next book. Whereas like as story-wise, I have no idea what's going on and I don't really care about what's happening. I like these characters. I would love to see more of these characters. I want to learn more about them. I want to learn more about how they're connected, what happened to them, what got them to where they are, why they're looking for what they're looking for. But when it comes to just overall, I feel like it just got really muddy and I feel like it just got really complicated. So I am giving this book a B minus just because of all of that. I would actually recommend this book. I do think it's pretty fun, but I don't know if I'm super excited to continue on with the series. And I was actually really interested because this author has written a lot of books. She's also written for Rick Riordan, which is maybe why it has a little bit of that feel. But after this book, I, I'm just not sure. Like I loved her characters and I loved like her dialogue, but when it came to the plot and like the flow and the pacing, it just really lost me. So I'm wondering if that is just a consequence of this book or if that's just her writing style. I don't know, I'll have to find out if I read any more of her books. So like I said, this is getting a B minus for me and I actually would recommend it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything got for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.